actually not any teeth left as well. So this is really, really impressive thing for Mojo to be doing. But with this, he's also got lovely colouring. Even though he sticks out like a sore thumb sitting here on my hand, but he's got this lovely dark blue on sort of the back of him, which helps him to camouflage in the nice greenery, and also a yellow belly, which means if you're down on the floor and looking up into the sky, he looks like the bright sunlight coming through the trees. But with this, he's got his beautiful wings. Not today. Wings. Oh, he's gone all shy. Never mind. He's got these lovely big wings on him as well. And they're roughly about a meet, uh, about a foot on each side. So he's got two foot wind span, which does help him to fly out there in the rainforest. But even though with all these tri trees and a very close tree canopy, he can't actually fly a lot out there because of how many trees they are. But he uses the most riverbeds and also the Amazon, um, Amazon River as well as like a highway for him. So he's able to manoeuvre around and go to anywhere else he wants to go. But potentially he won't actually be using his wings a lot. Him, him flying is pretty much like us running everywhere. It's a lot of effort and it's a lot of energy for us. So this is why Mojo uses his beak and his feet to help him move around instead, which is a bit more easier and less energy for him. But one thing parrots are known for is particularly their talking. So if people have parrots as a pet, they know that they might say some funny words and some sort of funny sounds all the time. Mojo has to say hello. Oh, you got it there before me. Hello, Mojo. Hello, Mojo. Any of the funny? Good boy. So he knows a few words. He's learnt these every day. So he, every morning we come in and we say hello. So he says it back. Hello. Hello. Good boy. So we say that every morning. We go, hi, Mojo. How are you? And which is why he has learnt this. Mojo is 24 years old. So for 24 years of his life, he has had someone say hello to him every day. So this is why Mojo has learned this and it's basically in the same way you'll teach a toddler how to talk. They don't actually know what they're really saying, they're just copying what you say and then they get a big tasty reward or high praise for it, which is how Mojo has learned to say hello and say hello on cue, even though he's saying it whilst eating a peanut. But <laughs> so these guys actually don't really know what they're saying, they don't know it's actually a greeting, they're just saying it because it's saying we say and give a high reward to. But with this, if you do have a parrot at home, they can be a little bit sort of mischievous and sometimes a bit annoying because they can pick up any sound they like whether it be a baby crying, dog barking, uh, doorbells ringing and any kind of fire alarms as well which can be a bit tedious after a while. And with all this, Mojo can actually live to 80 to 100 years old. So a very, very long time. So if you do have a parrot as a pet, they're pretty much going to be with you your whole life, learning anything they want, destroying anything they want and basically just being a three-year-old toddler for 80 years. Which to some parents might sound a bit quite a long time and a bit much effort. But that's all from me and Mojo. If you give him a big wave, he'll give you a wave back. You're going to do it today, you be polite? Good boy. So that is all from me and Mojo and I'm going to hand you over to Kelly who's going to tell you about our next few animals.